Hello, uh, this is John Jaw 1. I'm reading the One Year Bible, and it's October 10th, and uh, there are some overall impressions from the One Year Bible reading today that I wanted to um, share. I think the first impression and reminder is how precious it is to actually hear from God, to actually have some sense of revelation. And what happens when we don't? Um, or worse, when God is speaking to us and our hearts are so hard that intergenerationally we become deaf and numb. And that's what the situation is in, when, in, with, in the book of Jeremiah, uh, with the October 10 reading is that the Israel at that time um, that you know they had gotten set in their ways and they had become just like the people that God had used them to judge. And as God promised in Deuteronomy 28, they were now subject to the same judgment that they measured out. And there was no escape. Um, if you are called to raise a standard and to live by a standard and even to judge others by that standard, then if you leave that standard, you will also find yourself subject to the same standard. And um, the law, the covenant based on the law, um, leaves very little wiggle room if you uh, fall into idolatry and are ensnared by it. Um, but that's true for any of us. Um, there's also an uncomfortability um, in that's revealed in the Thessalonians reading of being bearers of the truth. Um, People want to hear what they want to hear. And when you start telling people truths that they don't want to hear, they'll become resistant and, and sometimes will even persecute you for, for that truth. Um, but there's no, there's nothing more precious than being in the position to hear it's kingly, like it says in, in the Proverbs reading, that, that it's the privilege of God to hide things and the privilege of kings to, to seek them and find them out. It's kingly, it's queenly to actually connect with revelation that is not commonly known or understood. And so I guess my encouragement to everyone is to value whatever level of revelation you've received from God and press in to seek more from God. And like the Apostle John used to say, you know, both children love one another and keep yourself from idols. Keep yourself from any form of idolatry. Love you all. Keep the faith.